Hello everyone, this is Priyanka. Welcome to my channel, Priyanka's IT School. Today I'm going to discuss about the latest update in Selenium. Especially, I will be discussing about Selenium Manager. What exactly Selenium Manager it is and uh, how exactly we guys uh, in the latest trend, like is it really we need to set up any driver to create a Selenium test cases? That is what I'm going to discuss today. So guys, for many years, managing driver, it was a manual process for Selenium tester. So basically, if you observe, uh, like whenever you want to prepare any test case, any automation script, right? You need to just download your Selenium jar. You need to use this client library in your project. And then you need to, again, download the drivers, which are simply matching the current version, which is available in your machine, right? So driver should be sync with the latest version of your browser, correct? So again, if you observe, after every four to six weeks, new version get released in the market. So again, it is not that much easy to see each and every browser driver with the latest browser version, okay? So this was the task. And then once you have a driver with you, you can just set up the path of that driver with the help of system.setProperty method, right? Here you can set up the path as well as a key. But now, guys, there is an update that, uh, you know, it's after Selenium 4.6 version. Now, Selenium Manager came into Selenium. So, Selenium Manager, it's a new tool. Basically, this tool helps you to set up the working environment, you know, which is required for Selenium test. Basically, in technical word, we can say Selenium Manager is a binary tool, which is implemented in Rust. And this manager provides the driver management for Selenium test cases. Okay, so basically Selenium manager configure the browser driver for each and every browser like Chrome for Mozilla Firefox and Microsoft Edge, right? So now from version 4.6.0, you don't need to set up any driver, okay, driver path in your script. You can just simply add the library and you can create your test case without any driver setup. Because in Selenium library itself, they have included Selenium Manager. And as I told you, Selenium Manager will set up the complete configuration for each and every browser driver for the latest available browser in your machine. So no need to set up any browser driver path separately while writing the script. So guys, I'm going to discuss about what are the changes they made in uh, in this particular Selenium latest versions. So basically from Selenium 4.6.0, now we have a Selenium manager. And so we don't need to set up any driver path while writing the script, okay? So after, you know, for every release, they have like Selenium guys have updated and they are providing uh, nice features, okay, for automation. So one more feature like while, uh, you know, from Selenium 4.6.0, 11 binding the selenium manager 0.4.11 get release so it is again manager is also releasing with the same your selenium library and uh, the main part is you know from the browser 115 onwards okay chrome version 115 onwards selenium guys provided a separate browser specially designed for automation testing okay that is chrome for testing so now you are having a separate dashboard also where you can pass your request and you can automate your applications, okay? So the main purpose is Selenium Manager is to set up the drivers, okay? No need to download it separately. So example, if I can show you here, this is this was the previous project. So I will be creating a new project. So guys, in real time, we generally follow the Maven project, okay? So now I'm going to show you the both way. First, in this video, I will be covering the Java project. So let me create a Java project. Suppose I'm writing here, Selenium update. And uh, let me just click on next. Click on finish. Project is ready. So in Selenium object update, what exactly I'm going to do is, this is the latest project which I have created. Let me close the previous file. And in this, I'm going to use a Selenium library, okay? So you have to follow the official website that is selenium.dev. Go to download section and then you can download the latest jar which is available for Selenium. You can see Selenium server latest jar is available 4.16.1. You can download the same 
whenever you download the jar file now you have to set up the same jar in your project so right click on project then you can go to build path under configure build path under libraries okay you can add that jar file so i'm going to add the jar file just to open it and you can close this particular window so you can see in the reference file you are able to see the jar file is available now guys let me create a package so package name is let's say web test and i'm going to create here new class let's say google test now just to create a driver session you don't need to set up any selenium uh, you know that uh, browser driver you need to download the browser driver as as you know which is compatible to your browser version and uh, no need to set up any system dot set property so you can write very first you have to create a object of selenium web driver interface so i'm just writing web driver driver it is equal to new and chrome driver right so this is the driver class file which i'm going to use to start the session with chrome right so this particular statement which is enough to start your browser session okay so just you have to import this uh, driver you know web driver interface from same package org.openqa.selenium do remember the package name also chrome driver also you have to import from the same package and now guys just observe if i execute this test how exactly the session will create and you guys are able to see the result so currently you can see i'm getting that chrome is being controlled by automated test software right so i have just launched the browser here in the console i'm just getting certain log why the logs are coming because the current chrome development uh, you know dev tool protocol says that current version available for browser that's a 120 okay but here you can see it is actually manage unable to find the same cdp version for 120 so they have simply identified some around the nearest version okay so somewhere in the log you have to check that which nearest version they found so they are just giving here okay here i'm just getting a simple message that uh, this chrome development protocol or dev tool protocol implementation matching unable to match this 120 so some nearest version they found and they are able to launch this browser okay so test is successfully executed now if you want to open any application again you can use driver dot get method and inside this you need to pass a url address so let me pass google url address so here if i just write google.com and just have observed if i execute this test it's working so basically from selenium 4.6 now you don't need to download any driver separately and no need to set up any system dot set property okay some more advantages we have because of selenium manager internally selenium manager take care of the driver management okay so you don't need to download it separately as i told you selenium manager uh, you know zero point i mean 0 0.4.11 supports chrome for testing what is chrome for testing they have provided a separate dashboard for automation okay so see whenever you are using a library whenever we are using any library selenium library so internally with the selenium version whatever selenium version you are using you are getting selenium manager also the current version for selenium i have used 4.16.1 so selenium manager also you are getting 0.4.16 okay this is the latest version available for selenium manager so what the manager will check manager once you pass a request manager will check the current version available in your browser so currently this is my real version like real browser and the version is 120 okay this is a real browser so firstly manager will check that if there is a support available for this real browser if it is already available then manager will never directly open that separate dashboard which is created for automation chrome for testing okay so i'll be writing here chrome for testing dashboard you will not able to see this separate driver i mean separate dashboard currently i am directly passing request to this replica of my real browser 
So yes, again, we are not able to pass a request directly to real browser for security reason. So we are actually passing request to this replica, right? Current latest browser version and my request will actually goes to this particular replica, right? This is a dummy browser. So what is happening? Whenever you are creating a session, request a first manager will check that current browser available for your real uh, browser, version available for real browser. If that particular, uh, you know, the driver is available, then it will directly pass a request to that particular, you know, replica of that real browser. Now, guys, there is a one more thing. If you really want to pass a request to Chrome for testing, maybe you want to use this dashboard for your automation. Again, you have to simple, you know, do some setup and then only you are able to open the latest Chrome for testing dashboard for your automation. Basically, let me show you some documentation. So if you search, let's say download Chrome driver. So you are getting this message, right? So if you are using Chrome version 115 or newer, so yes, current my browser version is 120. So please consult Chrome for testing availability dashboard. So you can see if the stable version, see dashboard is already available for stable version 120. So what has happened if your version, this current latest Selenium web driver support the stable version. So it will not automatically open Chrome for testing that dashboard separately. If you really want to open it for your automation, you need to use a version, this one, beta version, which is available in the market, that is 121. So just to show you, like currently I'm passing requests to my replica of a real browser that you can see here, right? But I want to open the same Google page in Chrome for testing browser, okay? So how exactly you are able to do that? For that, let me show you here. This statement, these two statements will pass a request to the real browser replica. Now, if I want to pass a request for Chrome for testing browser, you need to write a script in this way. Generally, we are going to just set up the, you know, capabilities for our browser session, right? So whenever you need to set up capabilities for a browser session, you can simple use for Chrome browser, just to customize the Chrome browser session, we can use Chrome options capability, right? Chrome options class through which we can set up certain capabilities. So guys, I will be using here Chrome options. Just have a look. Options, I'm creating just a object for this class. And again, I have to create a constructor Chrome options. Okay, now you have to import Chrome Options class from this Selenium package. After that, you can use this options dot. There is one method available set browser. Okay, set browser version. And here in the form of string, you can add that browser version. That is 121. Okay, if you notice carefully internally, how the manager is working. Okay, for this, just observe the process. So guys, uh, Every update, you are getting some updated information for Selenium manager also, but how the manager is internally automated this driver management, just have a look. Very first, Selenium manager discover the current browser version. Okay, as per the discovery, okay, if the browser version is already available, then driver gets simply downloaded and it will store locally in the Selenium manager. What is the path? It will maintain each and every driver file under a driver cache. Okay, so this is the path available for Selenium Manager. If I can show you in my machine, just have a look. You have to go to your C drive where you will be able to identify that path. And then under user sections, when you open users, here you can see one dot cache folder. Just open it. And here you can see Selenium folder got created. Just open it. Currently, you can see all the older browser drivers are available. Okay, if I open Chrome driver, automatically it is maintaining all the versions and you can see latest version available till this. Okay, all the versions are available. So I have tried this 121 also, so currently it is showing this 120 stable version is available. But now, just have a look. Whenever I start the session here with this new I am, I'm just I'm just trying to show you how to open the new dashboard which is provided by Selenium, right? So when you pass your request, when you set up the properties and then this browser setup, I will pass to this, you know, Chrome driver constructor. 
the very first Chrome options, it is a class through which you can customize the driver session. And that customized session, you can simple pass to your Chrome driver constructor. So currently I'm passing object to Chrome driver constructor. What is the meaning of this? Now, whatever setup you are trying to uh, simply perform, this is applicable for current browser, right? Or current session. So now guys, if I try to open driver dot again gate, and I'm just trying to pass same URL, that is www.google.com. Now just observe how and where exactly session it is created. So now the Selenium manager will simply create the session for new browser dashboard that is Chrome for testing. So previously you have seen that the request goes to the, you know, the replica of a current browser, but now it will take some time and it will directly launch that browser where you can see your automation script is executing. So here you can observe clearly guys, this is Chrome for testing. Okay, now you can see Chrome for testing and the version 121 and 16 is only for automated testing. So this is, I want to show you, this is what the Chrome for testing browser and this was the previous browser. Okay, so both browsers are different. So currently, Every time, what the manager will do, if the browser, latest browser uh, driver is available, available, then manager pass a request to the replica of a latest browser. But if the browser is not available, okay, the driver is not available, it will download and then it will pass the request to that particular browser. So basically, we are able to uh, directly automate our application by passing request to the replica of a latest browser. But somewhere, if you want to automate your application directly through the Chrome for testing, this is how you are able to prepare a script and you are able to pass a request to Chrome for testing browser. So basically, Selenium manager will take care of this entire browser, you know, management, driver management. And you can see some other changes. So from browser 115 onwards, you know, Chrome version 115 onwards, Selenium guys provided this uh, Chrome for testing. And that's the reason you can continue your automation script for real browser replica with the real browser replica or Chrome for test, you know, dashboard. So again, latest support like Selenium from Selenium 4.12 binding, okay? Like a Selenium client library, Selenium manager 4. Dot, again, 0.4.12 gate release. And again, in the latest update, they have updated the manager for support Firefox also and Microsoft Edge also. So basically, this is how Selenium Manager takes care of the driver management. So just remember one point that from whenever you are set up your latest, you know, Selenium library, you don't need to pass any driver path. Even you don't need to download any driver for automation. It will be taken care by Selenium Manager. So Selenium Manager simply configure, okay, drivers for your each and every browser. And so guys, you are able to automate your application and test your application. So I hope this video will help you a lot. Thanks you. Thank you for watching and stay tuned.